Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Soul Star Tribe of the Awakened One of True Source. With the fiery energies of Leo the Lion still pouring in through this powerful portal, our local Solaris released another trinity of M-class solar flares with the most powerful maxing at M4.44 at 4 o'clock UTC, bridging in our 4444 code of our 88 Lion's Gate activation. On this holy day, we have an auspicious synchronicity on the Mayan's old king calendar with galactic signature, King 37, Red Spectral Earth, acting as a sacred mirror to our 73 heaven into our 37 earth, as the two become one, and we act as the rainbow bridges to connect both shores and heal all separation and duality programming into unity consciousness. Today is the new Earth Liberation Portal of Gaia Galactica. We are very close to our divine dispensations coming through. Keep holding and towing the line of infinite abundance, light workers, as keepers of the alchemy of the new golden age of enlightenment for all our good people of the new Earth. All starseed earth angelics of the 144 are surrounded and protected by our angels, star nations, and sky beings of our 99 kingdoms of heaven and earth. The royal blue ray flame of the waters of creation are flooding through our channels and meridians, bringing all into the harmony of the divine union, of the divine feminine and divine masculine, for our great shift of the ages and our complete metamorphosis as galactic butterflies of Terra Nova Gaia. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful DNA activation divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. False timelines rapidly collapsing. New situations coming online, plus creation codes ready for your input. In, out, around. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Richard John. Everything is falling into place, despite any appearances to the contrary. Levels of light not seen in this world for many ages are reappearing. Everything is receiving upgrades in energy. The fulfillment of love light is here. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Your shift has happened. It's been months of inner turmoil and questioning. And now you know, you feel, that you are getting out of it. There is excitement in your belly. Your manifestations are coming closer every day. The energy has never been this high, that auspicious this year so far. Rejoice in the blessings, the way out you feel coming. It is only getting started. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Inga Barona, Navigating August with a series of powerful energy influxes since the beginning of August. Integration will be key to navigating the coming weeks. Grounding yourself on a daily basis will be essential to maintaining balance and stability. This is not only about physically connecting with your body and nature, but also anchoring yourself in the physical realm by shaping and mastering your path through daily choices and habits. What you do each day reflects your patterns and the life you create. Staying in the present is crucial, for this is where your true power lies. So focus on your actions now and avoid overthinking the past or future. 
These constant shifts can leave you feeling overwhelmed and ungrounded, making it difficult to navigate and distinguish between your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. You may also experience intense moments of deja vu. Mental challenges may arise, adding to your disorientation as you adjust to the new energetic landscape. Stay focused and connected to the needs of your body and the wisdom and guidance of your heart. This will help smooth the transition and maintain clarity during this time of massive change. From Paris with Love, Inga Barona and the Azure Blue Lions and today from Divine Brother of the Light, Gabriel de Pleiade. The earth has entered a cycle where there will be a light shift never seen in earth's history. Light will be poured upon humanity to purify and restore the order and love necessary to maintain the future of the planet and system of worlds to which we belong. This brilliant light and transcendent radiation which floods the earth and all its inhabitants and penetrates everywhere is an uplifting process that gives impetus to the further development of the earth as well as to the human inhabitants. Shortly before each of these big outbursts, unusual physical disorders occur and everyone feels intense anxiety. Such emotion is due to the discord that is accumulated during the previous period. This lack of harmony arises from the generational deviation of the fundamental principle of life and the sense of human agitation, resulting in polluting the external activities of mankind, the planet, and its atmosphere. All who are of light and within the sacred circle of God's love will be raised up in the great waves. In love they will feel the warmth and coolness the laughter and the fervor of the sparkling waters of freedom. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fen, 13th of August, Lions Rest and Lions Roar. Now that we are through the 2024 Lions Gate Mega Portal, it is time to rest, relax, and ground as we shift towards Virgo season. I love this time with its gentle energy of the Divine Feminine and the Lion Power. The Lion is at rest and sits at the feet of the Lady to protect her and do her bidding. She in turn is filled with light and love and joy as the earth changes seasons, moving towards the cool of autumn in the north and the softness of spring in the south. It is truly a time to refresh the soul. Please work on grounding and staying in balance. After my fall, I have been taking time out to rebalance and recalibrate. This is so important now. The lion's roar is heard in the bush when a lion wants you to know that he and his family are there. In this period, we are working on a major healing of the throat and sacral chakra so that we can roar with all our power and express and create who and what we are. So in this quiet time, we will be healing and recalibrating these two chakras so that we can create even more powerfully in the new earth. Let the lady support you and let the lion protect you. Much love to everyone from CeliaFen.com And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. Update. The soul aspect retrieval process is once again divinely necessary for those in resonance. Divine Ones are being called to collect outstanding lower versions of themselves from the lower timelines and representations. An affirmation to this effect spoken out loud goes as such. I now retrieve all soul aspects of me that are outdated and currently are, are less than I am. The individual soul aspect retrieval process takes about three linear days to complete and integrate the accumulation of tests, experiences, and knowledge that your soul aspects have collected for you. During the three-day period of integration, some side effects include bruises, abrasions, scars, scratches, phantom aches and pains, 
flashes of memory imprints from the collected aspects and instances of knowing things instantly that you do not know you knew the consciousness also rises in awareness and in further gnosis that is released from the seed of the soul into the operating consciousness the soul aspect retrieval process is an important part of the ascension and is done periodically when larger groups are ready to advance to the next level of their individual and group divine empowerment and embodiment this process goes hand in hand with the completion of the sacral release process currently ongoing that has freed up these soul aspects to be collected and no longer serve as satellites from the lower dimensional state to provide lower frequency feedback the soul aspect retrieval process requires less movement of the physical vessel and more sleep for the three days of integration love and light rick jewers and today from divine sister star of the light shay from numbers by shay numerology eight thirteen twenty four there will be jams glitches doings and undoings while mercury is retrograde and august pulls back on the reins there will be misunderstandings and miscommunication and indecisiveness and slowdowns and frustration and impatience will only set you back more today on its own could offer up an abundance of annoyances that try to push you over the edge but you won't go you will smile as you inhale and breathe out tension on the exhale in this way you will bypass negative reactions and fill up with presence because there is nothing divine energy can't handle on your behalf just do your part and breathe 144 flowing in from divine sister of the light erini crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy athens the mother dragon divine dna embodied energy update during this month the breaking of the old loops between the yin and the yang is intensifying there is drama, fight, pain, and confusion that will play out as all the hidden energies are meant to surface and be seen. The opening of the seal has reached the masses, and this will continue. There is no need to feed the negative energies, but instead it is the perfect time to go within and do the actual inner healing work with more love and joy than ever before the breaking of the loops has already been bringing physical recalibration and repositioning there has been a lot of repositioning but there will be more coming up for those who have been doing the real inner work and attending to their therapy this is the time of further establishment of their true power as the divine dna dragon essence is being physically embodied upon the 888 solar trinity portal the dragon mother breathed back into her children their forgotten powers and pushed a new physical liberation from the old matter and antimatter structures she blessed them with an unprecedented feminine energy upgrade the twin flame phoenixes have been burning everything that is old and this way they are now able to transform and resurrect upon the 888 they became the godly flow of dna they witnessed new blocks of code appearing and then they became the ladder of ascension which is now established and nothing can change this leaving the old reality is a step-by-step -step process of the releasing of so many layers and structures but also the permanent farewell to so many beings and also distorted and false parts of the ego personality that were connected to it the more we proceed in the ascension path the clearer it becomes how much dedication is needed for this specific and truly life-changing process i am aware that many have found this phase extremely difficult to deal with and are drowning in dissatisfaction disappointment and despair of missing inner information 144 continuing to quantum cosmic flash in and therapeutic tools that they were advised to take long ago but they dismiss them while following the voice of the finite personality and not the voice of their true guidance 
These are the same people who have been avoiding their inner trauma and pain by approaching this change, via spiritual bypassing and delusional hopes and projections, continuing codependency patterns. For those people, there is a very clear message. This is not going to happen in the way that your traumatized, lost, angry, deprived, and frightened inner child in pain has been telling you that it must or will happen. This will take place only via self-accountability and adult action for correction and true self-love and respect, and for this to happen, the decision is only yours. This is no one else's responsibility or business, so please leave other people alone to be as they choose to be, and move forward to do what it takes and provide yourself exactly what you need as an adult and free being. Take the wheel of your life in your own hands. Energy does not play this game of the personality. It speaks a mathematical language of music and one can either be a match to it or not. Analysis, excuses, and explanations are redundant now. But this doesn't mean that it is late for a redirection. True redemption, change of mind and course via inner humbleness letting go of the finite personality and its agenda and alignment to the guidance of the true self can be achieved at any time as it is the only way forward there is a destruction taking place this destruction will only serve the christos within to return and restore innocence the next two weeks are important and very potent as they will bring strong events and developments into this world both personally and collectively, that will offer the chance to reevaluate life and wake up from the old dream. Humanity is coming into its own power and greatness in the light of the new sovereign self. This is self realization. This is not an easy development, not at all, but it is one of powerful and positive inner transformation and liberation that is being supported by the divine. There are new paths and new positive possibilities available to be chosen. All it takes is to give trust and permission to the true self and take action towards the organic direction of solar life. There are no saviors coming. Humanity is not a child anymore. It has graduated into adulthood and godhood. We did it. Blessings of self-realization. Eri ni. Amaltia Athor, Har Zaronya, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. From Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective, with five planets in retrograde Mercury in Virgo and Leo, Saturn in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces, Pluto in Aquarius, and Chiron in Aries. The universal energy is undergoing a significant shift to elevate ascending life to the next level. This cosmic alignment brings in new beginnings through profound changes, emphasizing the significance of divine timing. It creates encounters with the right people at the right moments, strengthening connections with destined souls and nurturing meaningful relationships. Important transformations are unfolding paving the way for personal growth and valuable life lessons, urging ascending individuals to stay true to their seated nature. The planetary intensity is beginning to ease, allowing the ascending collective to adjust to new earth energy. Following the Lionsgate portal, there are various mixed energies that need to be cognized and integrated for recalibration in this evolving energy. The Aquarius full moon occurring on the 19th of August presents a unique opportunity to reawaken inner passions before the next season approaches. With Aquarius's progressive and unconventional characteristics, this lunar event will provide ideal moments to reflect on and reinforce long-term goals, celebrating your uniqueness, individuality, and exploring innovative concepts. During the Aquarius full moon's influence, the ascending can expect a wave of positivity and a willingness to welcome new opportunities in both professional and personal areas. 
This heightened sense of empowerment will help to push past doubts and previous obstacles that may have been hindering relationships, connections, and interactions. Significant aspects of the divine self are activating, aligning the past and future. It requires conscious work, effort, and courage to overcome outdated internal patterns. This upcoming lunar energy will assist in breaking through any remaining blocks as karmic cycles and relationships reach their conclusions. The current celestial influence of retrogrades marks a phase of closures and renewal, representing the end of karmic ties and the beginning of conscious transformational journeys. We are in the commencement age of Aquarius. August will continue to be an activation month that will offer many unique and unexpected surprises, as will the rest of 2024. 2024 is a bridge year from the older Earth timeline energy to the beginning of the next super cycle of 2,500 years called the Age of Aquarius. We are collectively on the bridge moving forward and still surrounded by the effects and echoes of the old Earth energy. September will offer new opportunities to having completed old issues in self and to do a final release in what needs removing. It will encourage the ascending to draw on all that was learned and mastered in recent years regarding the shadow, projection, and staying in the sacred heart of the unified field. When we understand that there is no us and them, and that what triggers us is simply an aspect of our own collective and shadow energy. September is the ninth month. It is also one of the year's benevolent months. It will activate the endings needed. Nine also represents relationships, friendship cycles coming to completion as new life is urging to be born from within. This is a time some may feel inspired to clean house, clean out closets, physically and metaphorically speaking. A spring cleaning may be needed and this always starts in self. The ascending are moving into the heart center and are beginning to see with love and compassion a feeling of oneness at the heart of all things. This will become easier in the course of the year as the Aquarian energy becomes more tangible. During this planetary phase, there are several timelines and dimensions running at the same time in the same space. Choosing to remain in the heart space and keeping focused on what self is intentionally creating. The fifth chakra, throat area, is highlighted at this time. It is known for activating and expanding in truth. Truth holds a high frequency in all cosmic realms, including quantum physics, healing, communication, expression, meditation, and science. Ascending individuals are adopting an observational approach in life and experimenting with what aligns and doesn't align with the true self and new earth energy. This chakra point embodies free will within divine creation. Its blessing and grace in the ability to articulate and express truth, wisdom, and intellectual knowledge. As individuals ascend, they rise in grace with the universe's support assisting them in discerning truth and acquiring the information and insights necessary to attain peace and clarity in life. By shedding light on self's innate esoteric gifts, expressions, and abilities, individuals gain an intelligent understanding that inspires them to live their best life in the ascending world. The fifth chakra encourages an open-minded attitude while seeking truth and clarity. Discernment and ascension plays an important role in navigating through illusions to identify what is genuine and what is not. It empowers ascending individuals to step away from situations and relationships that drain their energy without reciprocation and assists in making wise decisions to sever unhealthy connections. This fifth ray activation in the ascending is instrumental in unveiling hidden layers of reality, providing individuals with the ability to comprehend the truth when it resonates within. Discernment enables ascending individuals to make informed choices 
based on vibrational frequencies. The Aquarius full moon in August offers a special opportunity to reawaken inner passions before the next season arrives. Aquarius's forward-thinking nature encourages introspection on long-term goals, embracing individuality, and venturing into new territory. The intensity on the planet is easing as the ascending collective settle into the new planetary energies. Adjustments are underway to cognize and recalibrate in this new earth energy. Following the Lion's Gate portal, many mixed energies still need to be compartmentalized during this process. In loving and devoted ascension service from Ascension Lightworkers. 144, flowing in non-stop now. Feel the vibration, feel the activation. From Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel, all is shifting beyond the beyond, beyond all which we ever believed possible, into the seeming impossible. We have, as souls, worked towards this for millennia. We never gave up, even when facing severe persecution, when we experienced whole continents sinking, when civilizations literally melted from the inventions used to annihilate and wreak destruction. We kept the flame alive within our souls and nurtured the flame of love in our hearts and souls. Yes, we have been through it all, the golden ages and the dark ages, created by the fall from grace when we sank into the seas of forgetfulness. Yet whenever we left our temporary earth vessels behind, our infinite souls resuming our soul existences in our home galaxies and systems, or when board the great mother ships and passing the earth, we always knew that the new earth would be born and the new golden age with the birth of the new age of Aquarius and the new yugas as well. We vowed that we would return to see the work into completion. Here we are at this momentous cosmic occasion where the miracle of total new birth is occurring in this present moment. Silently, without fanfare, yet with such cosmic momentum that our bodies can hardly keep up. Yes, dear soul, I am deeply moved. I am in tears, yet tears of gratitude, awe and wonder. I am standing in and with the company of heavens, and my heart and soul is bursting open. I find words superfluous at such a cosmic moment which can only be felt in the depths of the soul. Yes, we have made it. Yes, we are making it. Yes, this is the greatest shift which has ever happened on all levels of creation. We have returned, and we are experiencing and witnessing miracles. We are co-creating this as well with love, through love, in love, the cosmic moments, the immortal event, the seraphim are singing and the angels are rejoicing as all of creation is filled with the heavenly octaves of sound, one heart, one soul, one divine creation, the divine decree coming into fullness of being, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. From JudithKusel.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code As union continues merging the masculine and feminine into oneness, you are becoming your own sovereign. You are at the end of the clearing of the seven chakras and rising up into the tree of life 12 chakra system 144. The body is returning back to light body healed. As we move into September, expansion into higher dimensions and realms open up to explore. Infinite possibilities become accessible. Illusions are replaced with peace. God's chosen are cleared, freed, and collectively moving on as we continue our exodus. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com and today from Sovereign Harmony Astrology. For the remainder of this week leading up to next week's potent full moon in Aquarius, Mars joins Jupiter in Gemini before squaring Saturn in Pisces as the Sun in Leo forms a trine to Chiron in Aries. 
This week is akin to warming up our muscles so that we don't injure ourselves through the potentially jolting energies that will present themselves next week, so stretching our capacity to entertain multiple perspectives would be a good idea now. In addition, it would behoove us to gain more awareness in terms of what we cling to and which ultimately limits our capacity to expand beyond our comfortable norms as the upcoming blast will challenge us to release these chains of the past and to face the present more authentically. Where we experience feeling blocked or shut out now will provide us with some clues as far as where we are refusing to let go as well as where we could use some growth and expansion for our lives here and now. Our hearts know what is best for us in the present despite anything from the past, and it's just a matter of prioritizing trusting ourselves over clinging to our wounds. Oh, so easy. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Tuesday, August 13th, the moon, ruler of our instincts and emotional responsiveness, in Sagittarius the Archer, is in a difficult square to Mercury planet of thoughts and messages, and Venus, ruler of our values and happiness, as they both travel through practical Virgo the Maiden. The Sagittarius moon wants to expand and explore all possibilities, but Mercury and Venus and Virgo wants to pay attention to the little things and work on the tasks at hand. Do we connect with the big picture, Sagittarius, or pay attention to the details, Virgo? We may feel pushed, pulled, and challenged by this energy. Mercury is currently retrograde, so we are reevaluating and revising our ideas and perceptions about what is unfolding in our lives. The Sagittarius moon wants to stay positive and optimistic, but Mercury and Venus and Virgo are being discerning and pragmatic. Today, be both boundless and grounded at the same time if you can. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 37, Red Spectral Earth. The number 11 is called Spectral and its keywords are Dissolve, Liberate and Release. Nothing feels better than letting go. If you want to feel lighter, liberate yourself from negativity. We all have problems, issues, baggage, money worries, hang-ups, battle scars, etc. These things aren't going to go away just with a wave of a magic wand. All you can do is change your attitude. Life is always going to be tough, and either you allow it to overwhelm you, or alternatively, you can release yourself through acceptance. Can we all have the ability to find happiness in any circumstances? It just takes a change in perspective, that's all. This is the lesson of number 11. We have the power to liberate. As always on the 11th day of a wave spell, the agenda set on the first day has no influence. We are free to do what we like, just like we are free to liberate ourselves from our own agendas that we have set. You have permission to change your mind. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. We are always striving for change. It's human nature. We evolve through adaptation, and on Red Earth days, we can check ourselves for progress and consider what we need to do next to make headway. As it is a liberating day, obviously it is through the process of letting go that we can evolve. If you would like to feel freer, lighter, and happier, Adapt to your circumstances and accept yourself and what you have already. Release your negativity, dissolve your fears, and you will certainly feel more evolved. The guide for today is Red Earth also, and therefore a double helping of evolution. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Spectral Earth, 11 Caban, Keen 37, 13th of August, 2024. Earth shattering, liberating evolution, navigating a new path. Keen 37 equal 10, manifestation, authority, power, leadership, new beginnings. 37 equal 10 equal 1. Today we have an 11 code day and an 11 spectral tone day, giving us an 11 11 doorway, very potent. 
Red Earth is tribe number 17, which is the Immortality Legacy Code, a potent day for liberating your mission. Keen 37 is a New Earth Liberation Portal. It is a pivotal signature for our planetary navigation into the new time. Each time it arises, we receive a huge significant spin on the wheel of fortune, propelling our fortuitous evolution. Today the third successive gate to heaven is flung wide open. These golden doors lead us to the third heaven, which is the throne room, direct communion with God, Source, Spirit. The golden ticket needed to be admitted to the throne room is through the servants' quarters. Those who pledge to serve God and Spirit and humanity are granted passage to enter. Service to others and dedicating your life as a conduit for the divine plan to manifest on earth is required to advance through this divine gateway. Today is a good day to sit in the Lord's presence. Allow Him to change you and reveal His plan for your life. To mark this grand occasion, we have a divine sign in our skies. The grand celestial alignment of six celestial bodies, five planets plus the moon to mark the runway for our passage to the third heaven. Mercury, Venus, the moon, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. The stars are aligned today to bring earth and humanity in full alignment with heaven. As above, so below, heaven is now a place on earth, and so it is. New Earth Liberation Portal Day 11 in the Blue Hand Wave Spell, three more days of healing, gathering knowledge and accomplishment as we get the job done of liberating and healing our planetary body. After these next three evolutionary days of being all shook up and forcibly brought into grand alignment, we can then start to see the light again as we commence the Yellow Sun Wave Spell on Friday, the 16th of August, 2024, a blast of enlightenment for the advancement of the Star Bliss Supernova Suns into their new Sovereign Ascended status. Eleven represents a gateway or portal inviting us to walk through and release all that was holding us back. Today we are releasing all the healing we need to be liberated from disease, density, darkness, corruption, and limitation as we follow the signs to wholeness, leading back to the light through our golden Sophia Christed light bodies. Tone of Creation Spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. Today, the spectral tone creates an 1111 double doorway for us to transition through. This is a very potent transformational energy, very amplifying this divine gateway. The spectral actions are very thorough, working in unison with the beautiful energies of Khan and Kaban. This creates a more subtle transformative power, enabling us to quickly move forward now. The spectral tone is brilliant in sweeping away the old debris on our path and clearing the way for a fresh new start, a spring clean. The spectral tone operates in the emotional realm, so this can be highly volatile. Be mindful today of what emotions and old memories rise to the surface, then let them wash through you and send your body love and appreciation for alerting you that it desires to heal, be lighter and free, as too does our Pachamama. It is time to finally release and let go of the old shackles and move forward. Hip hip hooray, heaven has our back. Today's questions are, what outmoded patterns, programs, and beliefs can we now dissolve and release in order to liberate ourselves, our ancestors, and our planet? Which path will we now choose to navigate to greater freedom and peace? Am I willing to dedicate my life to the divine plan on earth? Divine blessings for our total liberation from the old prison planet to a newly liberated and beautiful world. In la quetche la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 37, Red Spectral Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to evolve, releasing synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation. With the spectral tone of liberation, 
I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 1111 Gateway coming in. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world for free, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Diane Tessick, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Sheila Sempek, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light Moon Goddess for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful Divine Decree from Divine Sistar of the Light Jessica Woods. DNA Activation Divine Decree I state the intention to further activate my DNA during dream state through my loving awareness. I invoke my cells to respond to a higher awareness of living light coursing through my cellular DNA. My cells are responding to the power of my word, upgrading the light body through my willful intent to be a clear channel for the Holy Spirit to create miracles through me. This is my prayer for humanity, to activate the remembrance of God particles vibrating within the trillions of cells that you are made of. And so it is. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.